I'm a little bit disappointed actually. I'd already filmed this video and for some reason YouTube just kept saying there was an error with the video so I'm having to redo this video all over again. But it's kind of worked out a little bit better actually because, um, well, I'm using some of the product that um, I'm about to show you. So I'm going to do a review today on this which is the e.l.f. Complete Beauty on the Go and like six individual palettes um, and this time around I thought actually if I'm going to do this um, I might use some of the products so today I'm not using everything from here my like the powder I use today on my face is my elf HD mineral loose powder and the blush I'm using today is my pink passion passionate pink something like that blusher um, and then I'm using like three of the eyeshadows in this it doesn't show up the best in this light and that's literally just because where we're having really bad weather it's so overcast and grey it's just like glowing white so I've got like such a white so I don't know if further back I come <laughs> it's great George and you can like or if I come closer like a bit more definition um, in the makeup but anyway yeah so I got this free, I had an email and they said if you like spent £10 um, you could get a free gift which was this and um, it's actually worth about £10 online at the moment. I did, someone said to me they spent like £20 on it, I wouldn't spend £20 on it but I probably would spend another tenner on it. So anyway, yeah, so it comes in this and it comes with... 60 eyeshadows, 12 lip colours, 4 blushes, 2 bronzers and 1 on the go compact. Now the first thing that I did find a bit annoying about it, but then it was free so I'm not being ungrateful, is the fact that you have to keep it in this. Um, yeah, so that's a bit annoying because it doesn't save the most amount of space. But, so that's what it looks like. But just really quickly, just as I show you this, oh, and I can never get this open, the compact. Um... This is just like a single one, and it's just like a matte one, it's obviously got marks in it because I've already like um, used it and taken it places. Um, you can get one like this where it carries three of the individual palettes instead of one, so um, that will be quite a good idea, and I think that's definitely worth investing. I think it's something like five or six pounds. Um, and in America I think it's something like five dollars so that's really good so I'm hoping if they sell them in store um, I might go and like get two of them just to put all six in so I don't have to keep them in this case all the time yeah so anyway so this is what this looks like just as eyes lips and face um, I'm not gonna show that's like a big long mirror all along here so that's what it looks like and that hole there is obviously to push the um, the palettes out so yeah so really good compact and then this is obviously just tripled um, the triple size one. So that's that. Um, okay. So these are all the palettes. They've all got individual names on them, which is just a sticker on the back that says all of them. And I've noticed that on the US website, you can actually buy individual of these palettes. I don't know if it's on the British one yet. I should like have a double check on that. But that's really, really good because there's some here I really like and think, well, actually, I wouldn't maybe want to buy the whole thing again, but I'd be quite happy to buy individual ones because there might be some of those palettes I'm just not going to use up. But anyway, so you've kind of got here, this palette here is called Pretty Picnic, and it's all, like, very neutrals. And you can see I've already, like, used a couple of them. Um, yeah, so very neutral colours, and um, these are the lipsticks here, and then obviously this is where the blush or the bronze is. Um... And yeah, so some of them are really like really like highly pigmented. Let me show you the one I like. So yeah, I was really really impressed with that. Um, and then the next one along here, I think it's called Date Night. So obviously it's all your smoky colours, lipsticks, and then a darker brown. I stuck my finger in it. Oh, that was a bit of a nightmare. Um, yeah, and so for these ones here, both have like. They, the whole palette ranges oh God, of uh, matte, shimmer, and like really sort of like satiny kind of um, eyeshadows. The next one along here is called Beach Retreat, and it's obviously got like lots of greens and blues. And I've seen so many like mermaid inspired 
um, eyes that I think this would be a really really good one if people were like trying to experiment and didn't want to spend a lot of money on like high pigments and loose pigments and, and maybe try on it with something like this. The next one along is my favourite palette so I will come back to that one. Then the next one along is called Happy Hour and I thought this colour was going to be amazing and it just isn't. It kind of like, I mean obviously that shows sort of how pigmented it is but it kind of just Actually, sure like got pink eye, <laughs> so that's not very nice. And then the last one along here is called Shopping Spree, and again, very natural, um, like neutrally colours, and kind of like some khaki colours as well. You've got like some like khaki golds and greens down the bottom. Yeah. Um. So my favourite one I will show you is this one, and it is called Party Perfect, and I just really like this because I love this colour here lovely and I really like these top two here um this one um I've actually got this on today just like in the inner like no sorry I got it on the inner crease no just slightly on the outside of it I like like just made it a bit more shimmery and then that was a really good highlighter and then I love this for that's what I've got on my like inner crease here um and I really like that and then <gasps> the blusher is probably the best part for me um, it's very creamy and powdery, a little bit, um, not really any shimmer, it's not, but it's not quite matte. So if I just show you, I don't even know if that will pick up, like it's such a pretty peachy colour and like, oh, it's not blending in very well on my hand, obviously it's better on your face, but, so that's not selling it very well. But that um, that one is actually a really beautiful peachy colour, especially as there's so much like peach and pinks about at the moment. Um, I would definitely recommend, if you're going to get this, trying this one. The other like blusher that I really like out of this, which I will show you, this one's very glittery. It doesn't show up like super glittery on your face, but um, it's I just really like it. And it's in the one that had like the crazy kind of like pink eye colour. Um, it's called Happy Hour, and I don't know if it will show the glitter. Yeah, but I really like that as well. This one here, I think that's really um, very very pretty. It's this darker one here, which kind of looks orange on my hand, but that's just because I have no pigment colour in my hands. My hands never tan. It's totally bizarre. If anyone else is like that, please let me know so I'm not alone. But I tan everywhere else. Apart from my hands, it's crazy, like my hands and my arms are like two different colours. But anyway, it's totally off subject. But yeah, this has got some really lovely colours here, like I like this one and this one and this one. Um, I quite like that one as well, that's a really matte colour, so that's good. Yeah, so to be honest, it's a very good palette and to get it for free as well was like just a bonus. I thought for spending a tenner, you know, I needed to get a couple more like e.l.f. products as well. Um, oh, I'm also using an e.l.f. setting gel on my eyebrows, because my eyebrows are just wild. Um, yeah, so that's the palette. I do like it, I do recommend it. For a tenner, definitely, especially if you're starting out in makeup and you really just like want to give it a go and you want to try um, sort of experimenting with different colours and you want to do it a bit on a budget, because obviously it's even cheaper than like Coastal Sense ones. And then you've also got a few blushes that you, and uh, like two bronzes you can play around with as well. Um, obviously not all the colours are going to be suitable um, and usable, but for 60 different eyeshadows to play around with I think is actually a really good bargain. And they don't test on animals, so that's like a double thumbs up bonus for me. Oh, my hands are awful now. Um, a double thumbs up bonus to me, because um, I'm obviously I'm trying to convert all of my makeup over to cruelty free products. So yeah, so thanks very much guys for watching, I really hope this video uploads and I don't have problems with this one, and have a lovely day, and I hope everyone else in the world is having a more sunnier day than we are in the UK, at least it's not raining, but um, yeah, so thanks guys for watching, and please like it or subscribe and leave comments, but only obviously positive comments if you like it or you want to know more about some of the other products that I use, so well, thanks guys, bye!